Lots of people like socialising and they'll be outside and playing. But I just like coming home and sewing. If Campbell could be on that sewing machine 24-7, he would. It's Campbell, go and play your Xbox. Campbell, come and watch a movie. He's just not a normal kid. Not every 12-year-old would do that. If I say, don't do it, he sneaks. <laughs> I go upstairs with a bear and say, Mum, I've done this instead. There's nine children in this house. So I've been pregnant forever. <laughs> but there were two he prepared earlier, thankfully. I didn't do them all. <laughs> and Campbell is just wired really differently. Back when I was nine, I was asking Mum if I could um, buy presents for kids in hospital. Mum said no, that's too much, because Mum had bought presents for nine kids in the family. No, dude. No, we can't do that. He said, I'll make them then. OK. I was picturing some paintings. I hadn't shown anything before. First ever time, it took a lot of practice. He'd Google a different pattern. Then he said, oh, I need your help. I don't understand this. Do you understand this? I'm like, no. Does my head in. It took me about five hours to make one little ratty, wiggly bear. But I did it, and then I got faster and quicker and quicker. Every time now, I'm down to about an hour to make a bear. These, this is all my fabric, basically. With I've got some patterns in these, make them feel a lot better when it's all organised and in place. I do lots of pocket money jobs to get it up, and lots of people donate. I like this one, Kirby. Every time I see it, so now that one's my new favourite. I kind of like colours. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's been making bears now for about three years, and. We've tried to count them. Like a hundred and two? <laughs> More than More that. Though I'd safely say it's probably seven or eight hundred. I think it's awesome that he does that sort of thing. The kids that haven't smiled in ages and when he get when they get given the bear they smile. So I've come to the hospital and I'm going to give some bears to sick kids. Hi Carol. Hello. Great to see you again. It could change people from being negative to be positive. I've made this bear. That one's yours. Can I have that one? What are you going to call yours? Connor? George. Connor's reaction was really good. Just straight out George. How are you feeling? Good. Do you have to go to hospital a lot? Not very often. Well, that's Only good every Thursday. Well, today we are visiting Macy, who I gave a bear to. What did you name your bear? Cherry Roseberry. Cherry Roseberry. Macy was diagnosed with multiple brain tumours four years ago, and so she's still on active chemo. So I think it was pretty special when he turned up and gave you the bear, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Cherry Roseberry sleeps in there. Baby clown. <laughs> it's like she thinks it's a come to life. And... It, most of the time it likes to sleep. Does it? Yes. I kind of don't like this. I think it's scared. I suppose in a, in a glimpse he makes teddy bears and gives them to children. But what it really is, is he looks at sadness and tries to turn it upside down. Being kind and not mean would change the world a lot. I think Campbell inspires a lot of people. As much as we're there to teach them, they can teach us. That's where I take a little bit from what he does. And if you get up every day and work forward instead of backwards, you don't have time to be down. Nathan, my husband, was diagnosed with cancer it was five years ago. And then they took um, tumour the size of the tennis ball, but it's got an 80% recurrence rate. Well, it was really upsetting. Cancer gets worse with stress and I made him the bear so he, so he could get rid of the cancer. And... I, I can't give you words for it because um, I had to tell him that it'd come back again. Um, 
but he gave me this bear and said that uh, it's, a, it's a winner bear, you, you'll win against, against it and it um, hasn't come back. And that's, it's been over a year now and I've, I haven't gone that long since, so maybe bear worked. Yes, they can be magic in lots of different ways. There's a little bit of magic in them. Um, a lot of magic in Campbell though.